Hi, I'm Greg, one of the wine educators for Baitwaite's Wine, and you've joined me at the end of a working day uh, in lockdown, and I thought best to share with you one of my favourite cocktails I often make at home in my rather small kitchen, so you have to bear with me here, and uh, I'm going to make a gimlet. So, first of all, for a gimlet, you'll need some gin. Uh, I'm using this one that we've got in stock at the moment, it's my last little bit, so I thought best to use it for this. And a gimlet is effectively a bit like a daiquiri, but without rum and gin instead. So, to learn, often you use a coupe glass, pre-chilled, ready to go. Then we'll need a shaker, a two-piece shaker, it's a shake and drink, along with a little jigger to help measure out the volumes, and of course, a little strainer to get the liquid out of the shaker. So, that, that's our equipment, our ingredients, the gin I've mentioned, a lime or two, squeeze it, freshly squeezed, and a bit of simple syrup. So you can make this yourself, or you can buy it in most supermarkets. Great, so let's put it together. It's a simple recipe. Take our shaker, and we put a, a double measure, a two measure of gin straight in. Lovely. That's followed by a single measure of freshly squeezed lime juice I prepared this earlier. And that goes. Smashing. And then just a half measure of the simple syrup I mentioned. The lime juice acts as a citrus, a freshness, a sourness, and the simple syrup acts as our sweetener. With cocktails, if you get all of those in balance, we end up with a lovely drink. So, in that goes. Great. Okay, so what we need to do now is shake the drinks. We've got a bit of ice in this tin. Lovely. Get a large tin, pop it on top. Time for the fun bit. Do that for about 12 seconds or so. Get the lid off. Discard the ice from our coupe glass here, so it's nice and chilled. Use the strainer we mentioned earlier, pop it on top, and pour out your freshly made drink. If you're being proper fancy, you can also have a little garnish, a bit of a lime on the top. And there you go, a classic gimmick. Feel free to make it yourself. It's a great, a great refreshing drink.